What is happening, y'all? Welcome back to the next part of the walkthrough. We are ready to head on over to 3-1 Prison of Hope. Uh, but before we do that, there's a couple prep things you're going to want to do. One of the first is, now that we have our ring, I didn't do this last episode, uh, but go ahead, toss on that ring of great strength and get on some, some beefier armor. Um, this particular combo, iron, meridian, meridian, and officials, will get me at 49.8, so just barely below that weight threshold. Uh, but that is enough that I'll be able to to still have my mid rolls while being a good bit beefier than I was Which is perfect now obviously you don't need to wear these exact pieces just wear whatever you'd like You also notice I have the thief ring on as opposed to the cling ring And that's because the thief ring is going to help us out a ton in the upcoming area that we're about to go to So make sure that you are in phantom form of course go over here spend some souls we're going to keep working on getting our strength up. I want to really want to get that strength to 30 before I worry about endurance. Um, we've used all of our cons soul consumables. Save the armored spider and the uh, primeval demon. Well, excuse me, the uh, the demon soul that we picked up back in 1-1 in the pit. Make sure you deposit those. Don't eat them. And then if you're ready, hop over to Prison of Hope. Now, the reason we have the thief ring on is it's going to help us out a ton with the mind flayers in this area. The right behind us, there's going to be an guide in the cell. We can grab this up. Uh, these are this game's equivalent of, like, the shiny stones. Um, let's see. guide in the cell. Up ahead, there's a soul item past the caskets. Let's just run ahead till we get over to soul flayer. Don't worry about these cells for now. A lot of them, they're going to be locked, so just we'll get it later. Uh, now, these guys are why we have the thief ring. These guys are very deadly. They do magic damage. And on top of that, they will run up and they'll grab you with their tentacle faces and they'll hurt a lot. So because of that, it's really going to be beneficial to be able to take them out as fast as possible. And I'm actually going to swap to the battle axe here because they're not weak to, uh, they don't have the same weakness to magic that we had in the, the previous zone. We're going battle axe. But because of the thief ring, we're able to approach those guys from behind without them ever really seeing us. So it's just going to make our life that much easier. Because having to deal with them as you progress through this is definitely the hardest part of this area. Um, anyway, we got... Did I pick up the key? I don't think I picked up the key. Get the key down at the end, and there's a... Go, oh, that's the Prison of Hope 3F cell key. Um, up ahead, there's a soul item. Get the key. Down at the end, there's a soul and an item in the cell. Okay. Down here, grab this. Warrior soul, and we'll open this up. Grab this. Next, we're gonna pass through here, and there's gonna be another mind flayer coming up. So, if you really want to be cheeky, go like this. Oh, there we go. We know he's over there. So this is what happens if you get grabbed, and you're not in for a good time. for him to get a little closer. And we're probably dead here. This is honestly the hardest part of this world is dealing with these these mind players. They are they're very deadly. You leave them by themselves. They can they can easily get you. But the thief ring helps a lot. Let's go over and get this one. I need a little bit more endurance to be able to keep my bow on. They also consistently will drop spice, so if you're playing as a caster build, you'll get a lot of your spice from these guys. Let's see. And his back's turned. Uh, you'll notice I didn't take any damage there. When you are in the middle of a backstab or a repost animation, you're completely immune to damage. So just something to, to keep in mind. Uh, so we can open this. Get the Mercury Stone Shard. Uh, let's see. I get the key. After moving through the hallway, stone to the right in a cell and another Mind Flare. Um, so proceed opening cells that have loot. Grab the 3F key. Okay. 
continue along. And see, typically this guy would already be running after us, but because we have the thief ring on, he's just going to turn around. And this axe in Gabooga is finally living up to his name. Go over here and take the key, and then we can kill these guys if you want. Not worth my time. Actually, I might be able... Will I be able to fit this? I will not. I'll change out a piece of armor so I can have the bow on as well. Um, let's see. Soul in the ground up ahead. Afterwards, we can open the cells that have loot in them now. Oh my god. Axe is not all that good for hitting people through the cells. Anyway, just head back. Um, I didn't actually write down every cell that has loot. The best way is to just look into them. Man, that axe is juicy. Um, this increases MP, but putting that on means I can put my other stuff back on, so I'll swap to it. Uh, if you're a caster, this is actually really nice. The, the maximum MP. It's not a ton. As you can see, we're at 58. Um, get over to the screen. There we go. 49, 58. So, I mean, it's still a solid chunk, but... This one... There we go. One-handed version of this works quite well. If you're going to find a lot, of, a lot of cells like this... You need to, to do that to get stuff. Got all souls. Okay. We're going to want to pick up more arrows before we uh, wrap up on this episode. Um, opening cells that have loot. Grab 3F and get another shard. Soul in the ground ahead. Afterwards, loot previous cells and head to the door near the start. Actually, we'll probably jump back and uh, spend our souls on some arrows real fast. As we go back this way anyway. Wizard gear. You're locked, you're locked. I thought one more of these had loot. It might be the floor below us. There's the arc stone. Alright. I'm just going to go pick up some arrows real fast. And we might be able to actually uh, snag a pop in these. Yep, we can definitely snag a level. Boom! 30 strength. Beautiful. Which, with 30 strength, uh, this will actually be straight better, I think. We want 136 on that. 157. It's not yet. Anyway, go here and make sure you have arrows. Um, purchase item. Uh, if you want to repair, now's a, as good a time as any to repair. We're probably going to stick with the axe here on out, to be honest, now that my, my strength is getting higher and higher. The thing is, the axe needs upgrades right now. Uh, whereas the falchion, since it's split damage, it's going to be high. Uh, now, don't worry about killing those guys. The whole reason we went and grabbed those keys was so we could get this door open. Get that, and through the fog. Okay. Oh, there's loot in the Iron Maiden. Pick that up. Pick this up. And the one hand on that is really good. Continuing along here. Uh, we can't open this up yet, so don't worry too much about it. We're just telling what we can here. Knock them down. We actually have it open in just a little bit, so don't worry too much about it. Alright, now, there is a Mind Flayer that'll come right up to this door if you wait long enough. Doesn't look like he's going to. Since he's not there, we're not going to sit and wait. Uh, but you can kill him through the door if you want. 
Uh, down the hallway, the cell has spice inside of it and a bunch of enemies. See in the corridor, we got that third do, 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 door in the corridor. First two Iron Maidens. Okay, so we're going to the Iron Maiden loot area now. Loot in this one. And loot in this one. Those. Uh, this one is a trap, and the guy, basically an enemy will pop out of it, and he will stab you and poison you, so don't want to mess with him. I'm gonna wait just a second here. It's like it knows I'm here, but it doesn't know I'm here at the same time. It thinks I'm here. I wanna turn around so I can backstab you. Yeah, the one-handed backstab is different from the two-handed, that's fine. I like the one-handed backstab, that's nice. Get the H spice and grab the key. Um kill a mine player through the door. Let's see. Uh third solo, we're flare. Turn back and open the cell to have the dregs and all the loot. I'm like the flare. Um this way there's nothing else over here. But just be aware of this. There's a drop right here. So you don't want to run on over here and accidentally get yourself killed. Or people would be like, well, what's that way? Not dead. We can go this way now. Uh, that's the door that we're going to open next. But with that key, we can open this up now. This is a little bit upgraded. Alright, now since we didn't kill the flayer that was at that door, he is going to be basically right there waiting for us. Thankfully, we have the power of photo mode so we can see where he's at. Take a peek here. Oh no, it's not letting us go through it. Oh well. Open this up. There's a flare. Just beware. Yeah. Ugly buggers. And so we got that. Three fresh spice and two flares up in the next zone. One should be right after we open the door here. Wait a second. If you really want to be cheeky, you can just bow these guys down. Now remember, we do have a plus seven bow, which is a pretty strong weapon. As you can see, we're doing quite a bit of damage on that. Oh no. Well, we were doing quite a bit of damage until we let him give us the tentacle hug. No! Let's see if we can get out of this bad situation. Go, go with Thief Ring. Pretty sure that guy lost sight of us just from us running back here. Yeah, he did. There we go. He's dead, and there should be another one. I can hear him, but I don't see him. Oh, wait, is that him? I think he's down there. Not seeing him. Well, I know there's one more player. Anyway, um, three fresh spice, two flares after the door. Head for soul and merchant and cell. So we'll grab this. 
That's the opposite end of that drop down right there. This is the Spice Merchant, so if you're playing the game as a, a caster, um, the noble's wife is going to be the one who sells you fresh and aged spice, so infinite amounts. Uh, beyond that, we can get basic Moonlight Stone Shards, and she has the Ring of Avarice. This might be, you're like, oh my god, I need to farm to get that. Don't get it. We actually can pick that up later for free in a pit, so not worth spending 50,000 souls for it. Jeremy's getting closer. This open. Oh my god, I died to the prisoners. That is embarrassing. Well, the loot up there is what we are going to get, which is just a lotus hanging on a corpse. But that's okay. A little bit of death is uh, it's good. can show you how to all ass back to where we died. Plus the, the general route to get through this. So from the spawn, let's just go up. Go to here. Generally, I'll just bow these two enemies. We can snipe him. We have the flare that should be up ahead. Flare seems busy at the moment. I'll kill this flare instead. back right to where we died. Part of it is we're not doing this with the cling ring, so our health isn't as high as it would typically be. But that's because the thief ring allows us to be cheeky. So. At least until we're past the majority of, uh, of these guys. Um, Lotus hanging on corpse. So continue down this way. I'm gonna open the gate. This one. I have nothing in there. Head on down. Uh, so we can't do too much here yet, but this right over here, this is Sage Freak. This is the merchant for uh, those of you that are playing as casters. We're going to be coming back and getting him a bit later. But we need a, a special key that is farther in the level before we can rescue him. So instead, we're going to head on down. I'm going to pop this open. Uh, now there's two doors here. This door, and then there's one right over there. These are known as the Warden's Path. Just remember this because we're going to need to come back to here in a little bit. Instead, though, we're going to continue on for now. Let's keep going this way. Open the fog. We can grab this if we want, but otherwise, oh, <clears throat> waiting for me. Man, that's such a juicy sound effect. Uh, there's a guy down here, but we can't do anything with him yet, so don't worry about it. So we want to continue down this. And pop this open. 
Okay, um, so we're gonna swing around and get all the loot that are in these cells. Um, there should be two cells with loot on this side. That was one. And here's two. Uh, up here, bunch of really nice gear. The looted set, which is the, kind of like the iconic Demon Souls armor. And then if you're playing a female character, the silver bracelets right there, those will increase the amount of soul drops. So nice little uh, utility item you can get. Go ahead and hit this. Warrior soul. And we can, I believe that's the only loot on this side. Let's, okay, kill these guys. the big angry ball for now. We're pretty much safe as you're over here. Um, we're gonna ignore him for a moment and we're gonna go and kill this crystal lizard. Now it is a fall over here so just be aware don't go uh, don't go running all willy-nilly and fall hit to your death. So that examine the corpse there. We can pop open this cell. Time for lizard. Uh, grab the loot. Alright, and now we'll fight this thing with the bow. Now you could certainly go up and melee this thing, but it basically just has like AoE arms that swing. Uh, very deadly in melee range, so I would fully recommend you just snipe this thing on off. That way the only thing you have to do is dodge the occasional soul arrow that it shoots at you. Grab the age spice though. And we're going to head down this way. I don't think there's any loot there. Let me see. Take the path down to the end. One cell has an item. Okay. Break this stuff. Go outside to get some loots. This. And then over here for S stock. Wrong way. Go back inside. All right. Remember to go this way. That way has a big hole. Right. Uh, it's going to show you the ballista, and that's a hidden achievement right there. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a ledge run real fast here to get two more goodies. Best way is to just run while like holding your controller at a diagonal. Well, your controller, but your, your thumbstick. Make sure you don't accidentally uh, run off the cliff. Mercury Rapier is a good weapon for those doing magic builds. And then we're gonna do that again, but down here. Remember this this loot used to be incredibly stress inducing in the original. Like every time I went to get this, I was worried I was gonna slip off the ledge at any moment. Okay, examine that. Just tap. Oh. There we go. Alright. So you can see the ballista. Uh, the warden's key is what we need. Now, you can actually go straight from the Ballista and wrap up this zone. Um, and there's an achievement for rolling past the Ballista. So make sure your equipment weight is below 50%. What I'd recommend is rolling right when you see it. Oh, 
Oops. Oh, I missed my roll there. <laughs> but that is what you need to do. The um, the cadence of the roll that I had up until I got shot in the face. And you need to make it all the way to the end of the ballista uh, to get get the hidden trophy for it. So let me run back there real fast. Just uh, We'll speed run over, show you the path to get there nice and quick. And I'm trying to think if I can... In this episode, it might go a little bit long unless I go into like go go speed run mode. Damn, bro. I almost killed me there. There's really not a ton left. Well, there is There's some lengthy stuff left. There's the other flyer. It's just hanging out. Uh, but that key we got, we can use that for the warden's doors. These doors that we saw over here. So right there. And right there. It's a big loop. Either works. Uh, and the purpose of those doors is it allows you to get all the way behind the ballista so that you don't need to even worry about rolling through it. But if you want the achievement, you're going to have to roll through it. Ignore that guy. Oh my god. Hurt. Now, I obviously already have the achievement, so it's not going to pop when I get it, but. Roll. Roll. There we go. Just like doing that, you can come down here, pop that lever. And the ballista is shut off. You can pick up all the loots. Clever rat's ring is going to be helpful for um, some cheese strategies that we'll need later certain bosses that are very resilient and don't want to die um so looking at the time i do think i'm going to wrap things up here for now uh there's still a little bit left in this area so what we're going to do is we'll close this episode out having gotten the ballista done the next episode we'll tackle the boss from this zone and then we'll get started on 4-1 likely well no, 4 one's pretty short we might be able to to keep 4-1 on its own uh, but either way, let's close this one on out here. I don't want things to go too long because there is still... The, the, the biggest thing with this level is there's uh, just a lot of running. And we have a lot of running left we got to do. So we'll close on out. I'll uh, we'll fight the boss in the next episode. Stay tuned and we'll pick up right from this spot. And I'll see you all then.